Hello there and welcome to Sound Codex. Today we talk about simple waveforms such as square, sine, triangular and so. Well, now let's start from uh, the simplest, which is sine wave. We can generate sine waves using OSC tilt. We specify a default frequency and to visualize our um, waveform we can use an array let's call it sign and change the drawing method from points to polygon so now we can see interpolated points uh, rather than single dots on our screen so this is the empty array we need to fill it and to do so we use tab right tilt we specify the name uh, of the array we want to write in, which is sign is here. We take the signal and send it to top right. Uh, we add a metro with a ref refresh time of 100 milliseconds and we apply a toggle so we can switch between uh, on and off. Um, maybe we need to initialize audio. Here it is. Okay, so this is our um, sine waveform. As you can see, it is a bipolar signal. So it's um, moving from minus one up to uh, one, passing through zero. So it is using both the uh, upper half and the bottom half of our window. Now we can move on and talk about uh, phaser, which is the object that allows uh, allow us to generate um, so waveforms. We can copy our tab right. We can generate a new array and call it so polygons. Okay. change the name, um, the reference name from uh, sign to so and turn it on. As you can see, uh, the so waveform is a unipolar signal. So it's um, sending out the values from zero to one. Uh, this specific waveform has no negative values, but if you need negative values, so if you need um, a bipolar uh, so wave you can multiply the signal by two so now the range is from zero uh, up to two and you can divide uh, you can subtract sorry one so now we have a scaled um, range from minus one to one and we can verify it let's have a look here it is. So this is our um, so wave. Now let's move on the third one, which is square wave. Uh, in pure data, we don't have an object that draws um, square waves. So we need um, to write some, some code here. We start from a phaser, we specify a frequency, um, and then we generate an expression model x e x p r tilt, which is a, a module in which we can write uh, mathematical uh, expressions using both mathematical and logical operators. So here we are asking if the incoming value dollar v one is greater than zero point five. If so. Um, the output will be um, 1, if not, the value will be 0. 0 and 1 are the values we need um, to draw a square wave. So we can copy our tab right, as we did earlier. Oops. Okay, we can generate a new array, call it square. 
move it down here. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have our square wave. It is a unipolar signal. And it has two states, uh, zero, then drops uh, very quickly, immediately to one, and then goes back to zero. So this is our square wave. We can put it in the right corner here. Last one, but not least, is the triangular wave. It is a little bit more complex, so uh, here we are going to write some uh, some nodes. We start using two phasers. Oops. The first one is receiving a positive uh, frequency value. The second one is receiving a negative one. So we multiply our value by minus one. Now we can use separate uh, tab right and have a look um, what is happening here. So one for you, another one for you. We can uh, generate try one triangular one. We can copy it so we have two and we can see what's happening so we change the name here try uh, one try underscore two in the first one we have increasing value values that goes from zero to one in the second one which is not working okay why it is not? Oh, because I wrote it. Um, I did a mistake here. Okay. Ah, come on. Okay. In here, we have the exact opposite. So we, our values are starting from a um, high value and then drops down linearly to zero. Uh, what we need to do for our um, triangular wave is to combine these two, align them so that we can have a triangular um, shape. To do so, now we can uh, delete our uh, tab right and erase. To do so, we multiply the signals of both phasers by two. And then um, we divide, we subtract one. One for you and the other one for you. Now we apply a clip module, a clip object that defines a new range from zero to one. And now we can add the two um, signals. Uh, phaser one goes into inlet left, and phaser two goes into uh, inlet right. Um, we are almost done. We need a times tilt two again, and we need to subtract one again. Now we can send our uh, signal to a tab right. We can generate a new array. We call it triangular polygons. Okay. If we start our uh, phasers, we see uh, that we have our um, triangular waveform. But now we are uh, very lucky, I don't know why, but the phase of, uh, of both phaser 1 and 2 is the exact same one. Um, 
if we change the phase, let's say 0 0.2, oops, 0 0.2, we, we create a gap between um, our two phasors. So what do we need to do is to specify a phase, a common phase of zero. Um, so we need to apply this um, zero message and I'm gonna add a low at bang. So when we open our patch, we are sure that we are um, starting our phaser with um, a common phase of zero. Here it is, our triangular wafer. In the next episode, we'll have a look on how to generate uh, better sounding waveforms because as you can see here we have very straight lines that are drawing our waveforms and these waveforms are very good for control rate um, such as uh, LFOs or sample and holds or envelopes as well but if we want to generate audio uh, with this waveform, we need to improve them. So that's all for this video. I hope you like it and see you soon. Bye.